Welcome back everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can jailbreak your Super NT and how you can play the ROMs off of the SD card. And then in another video, I'm going to show you how you can actually back up your Super Nintendo games and the saves onto your SD card with a jailbroken Super NT. So let's get into this. This link to the Smoke Monster Packs GitHub will be in the description. Um, read over this. It talks about everything you need to do and the steps you need to take to do this. Uh, real quick, before we start, you need a two gigabyte or larger SD card and it has to be formatted as FAT32. The, others, the other formats are not supported. And if you're using Windows like I am, you can only use up to a 32 gigabyte SD card and be able to format it FAT32 with Windows. If it's over 32 gigabytes, you have to download another program to do it and I will leave a link in the description to one as well. So what you need to do is you need to download this and I already have it downloaded over here. It's right here, the Super NT Jailbreak. You wanna extract it and it will give you this folder. And then you wanna go into firmware and then you want to take this file right here and copy it over to the root of the SD card. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put up a video of my Super NT showing you what is happening as it's being jailbroken. I must caution you while you do this though, the only thing that can actually mess things up is if you lose power to your Super NT. That can break your system. So you want to make sure, you know, as best as you can, that you're not going to lose power to the Super NT or it's going to break it and then you're going to be in trouble. So with this on the root of the SD card, we need to eject it and we're going to put it in the Super NT. Okay, now we're going to put the SD card in the Super NT and the best thing to do is to just put the SD card in, power it on, and let it go. I'm going to speed this up a little bit because it does take about a minute or two before it actually works. You'll see the light blinking extremely fast, but once it gets to a solid color, then you're ready. Now that it's jailbroken, we're going to put some ROMs on the SD card so we can play them. And I just real quick set up my folder structure of how I want my games. Here's my games right here and I just need to move, move them over to the corresponding letter. So I'm going to do that real quick. Alright, now I have all my ROMs in each of the different folders. As you can see like this. So now we just need to eject this and put it back in the Super NT and I'll show you that it works. Okay, now with the SD card inserted back into the Super NT, we'll just go down here to Browse SD Card, hit this, and this is just letting you know what's going on. So we'll close this, and then we'll go down to, let's do, um, let's do D. Here's the ROMs I have. We'll do Donkey Kong Country. It will load. And boom, I'm playing Donkey Kong Country off an SD card. Get to the game here. There we go. DKC. All right, now to get back to the file menu so you can pick another game, you'll hit down and select, and that'll bring us here. And you just wanna go up, hit go back, and then you can pick another folder with another game in it. And that's all you have to do. So have fun jailbreaking your Super NT. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how you can actually back up your Super Nintendo games so that you can preserve them which is something I've been wanting to do for a while. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a like. If you didn't, that other button seems to work pretty well too. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.